In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for KOH plus AlCl3. This is potassium hydroxide plus aluminum chloride. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. You can see I have three chlorine atoms here and just one here. Let's put a three in front of the KCl. Now I have three potassium atoms, just one here. I'm going to put a three here. That gives me three hydroxides, but I have three hydroxides over here already. That's good, and add one aluminum on each side. So we've balanced the molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, potassium compounds, they're pretty soluble, and this is a strong base, KOH, potassium hydroxide strong base. That's gonna be a soluble compound, dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Chlorides, they're very soluble. And then we have potassium chloride, that'll be soluble. But with hydroxides, I really like to check and see if they're soluble in water, unless they're in group one, like potassium or sodium. Let's take a look at a solubility chart, see if we can check that out. So I'm looking for aluminum, that's right here, and then the hydroxides over here. I go over, and you can see a lot of the hydroxides are insoluble or slightly soluble. And aluminum hydroxide, it has that I, it's insoluble in water. What that means is when we have aluminum hydroxide in water, it's going to be a solid. It's not going to dissolve or dissociate. It's just going to be a solid. In fact, these two will react, will form this aluminum hydroxide, and fall to the bottom of the test tube. This is a precipitation reaction. So we have the states for our net ionic equation. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. Potassium, group one on the periodic table. That's one plus, and this whole hydroxide ion, one minus. So I have three potassium ions, and I won't write the states right now. Let's do that at the end. And three hydroxide ions at OH minus. Aluminum, that's in group 13, sometimes called three. That has a three plus ionic charge. Chlorine, one minus. So I have the aluminum ion, and then I have three of these chloride ions. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. We have plus and minus here, so we have three potassium ions in the products, just like the reactants, plus three chloride ions. And then for aluminum hydroxide, since it's a solid, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. We just keep that together as AlOH3. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. So in the reactants, I can see I have three potassium ions. In the products, I also have three. Get rid of those. Three chloride ions here. And then in the products, three chloride ions. We can get rid of those. But everything that's left, that gives us the net ionic equation for KOH plus AlCl3. I'll clean it up, write the states, We'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium hydroxide plus aluminum chloride. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have three times the one minus. That's three minus, three minus and three plus. That gives us a net charge of zero. And this is a neutral compound, net charge of zero over here. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. Often you'll see the positive ion put first. Doesn't really matter. Maybe it looks a little bit nicer. Either way, this is the balanced net ionic equation for KOH plus AlCl3. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.